Okay, good afternoon YouTube. So I pulled the solar panel here off of my rack. I would showed you this when we were up on the ladder and I, I think this is what diode here was shorted. This one actually was okay, but I, anyway, I, I ordered some replacement diodes, so I'm going to put new diodes in there. But I found the problem, I don't know if you can see that here, it's kind of up in the shadow. The way the panels are built here, let me show you that first. So on the panels, there's a bus bar on this first row of cells that goes down and then that comes up all the cells are in series and then there's a double bus bar that connects the top of this row of cells or column to this column of cells and then that goes down and over comes up here there's another double bus bar and then it goes down and then comes back up to the final connection so then you have these tabs. So this is the most negative. And then this connection here is to this bus bar. This connection here is to the bus bar that's right there. And then this is the most positive bus bar. And right here, I don't know if you can see that up in the shadow, but I've uh, scraped through the encapsulating, uh, I guess this is an EVA film, the white, and then there's like a silicone that's underneath that. So right here, these are the tabs that go down to the solar cells. So there's three tabs that are supposed to be connected to that bus bar. And so anyway, I've scraped this one here because I can get to it a little easier. I used a, a sander to kind of sand through this encapsulating layer. And then I got a chisel and kind of scraped some of the silicone out of the way to get to this uh, tab. These two positions here are a little bit harder to get to because you're behind this uh, connector block. But um, initially I thought what I would do is solder this tab back onto this bus bar. But I found two issues that I have concern about. One is getting that silicone or whatever the adhesive is off of that bus bar without damaging it is very difficult and let me show you I'll put a light behind here so you can see there there's the bus bar right in here and then you have the tabbing right there and that's what failed in fact let me flip the panel around we can take a look at the other side real quick yeah, so this is the other side of the panel, and these are the three connections that failed right there. And you can see how that one's a little bit burnt, and I don't know if water got in here. I don't think so, because everything seemed to be sealed up, but uh, looks like they just weren't done right. Because you can see how this one here has a modeling on the surface, and that one, and that one compared to like this one here these are real small connections so I don't, I don't know if these are spot welded or if they are soldered I, I'm not sure how those are connected but anyway the two concerns I had one is the glass so this bus bar is bonded very tightly to the glass and I'm thinking if I put a hot soldering iron on there I might crack the glass which would wreck an otherwise good panel and then the other concern I have is getting that silicone scraped off the back enough so that I could solder it without scraping through this thin bus bar material I don't know I assume this is like a nickel strip and then they've either soldered or spot welded these tabs on so let me show you what I'm gonna do instead Okay, here we are in the back side of the panel. I've got to get all, the, get all my sanding done, and I need to expose these other two tabs here. I've got them just barely peeking out, but I need to get in there a little bit farther. And then the idea is, how about take another nickel strip here, and I'll, I'll uh, maybe bend these tabs back and solder them onto this nickel strip, you know, one, two, and three, run that over here and then I'll drill a small hole right up there and then run a 12 or 14 gauge 
wire up here, pick that uh, strip up, and then solder it onto this tab because this tab here is connected to the bus bar, and then this strip will be connected to the, the string of solar cells here, and that should connect everything back together. And then I can probably put some rubber tape or something over here. This is up on the top of the panel, so it's really not going to get any major weather on it, but I'll put some flashing tape or something over there. I've got some EPDM rubber tape that you can put over that, because I think that would glue that down and keep any moisture out of it. Yeah, this one I've got out all the way. I've just got to do the same thing here and then here. This is the hard one to get to, but that way I can do the soldering up here off of the panel. I've got to do a little more work on that. It's just real tedious because you don't want to go too deep because otherwise you'll damage that bus bar and you don't want to cut off that little tab because that's the only thing you have to solder to. So it's just yeah, real slow going. You got to be super careful because if you make one mistake and you chop that little tab off of there, it's gone. If it were over here, it'd be real easy to get to or if it was on this one, real easy but it's of course on the hardest one to get to right there in the middle so i'll give you an update uh when i get a chance to work on this and if if anyone's seen this before if you know would this bad connection cause the diode to blow or was it the shorted diode that caused this to go out i'm thinking it was this bad connection caused the diode to fail that might make sense because the idea of the bypass diodes here is that they cut out sections of panel if they're shading. So if, if the uh, two rows over here were shaded, this diode would bypass and instead of running all the current through the cells that are in the shade, it would just go through the diode instead. And so this one here, you could think of this as this string of cells here was like constantly shaded because it wasn't passing any current. So maybe that caused the uh, diode to just overheat because it was constantly in bypass mode. So yeah, I'll see if I can get this thing working. I just got to do a little bit more tedious work, put on the magnifying glasses so you can see what you're doing here because it's really fine work and and you don't want to go too deep or damage anything. I will uh, get back to you when I have a chance to put my bus wire on. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, if anyone has any uh, information on this, if you've seen that before, post up in the comment section below and I'll put an update video over here on the left when I get a chance to work on that. And as always, thanks for watching.